Hey, 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 pedal people, it's Pedal Guy here. How you doing? Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out the new X Optima Air IR loader and acoustic preamp, and we're gonna get started right now. Well, hey, it's Scott, the Pedal Guy here. How you doing? Well, we're all about pedal demos, pedal knowledge, and pedal sales. I love pedals, and so do you. Now, if this is your first visit to the channel, make sure you take a second and click on that subscribe button down there and ring that bell so you can stay up to date with all of our videos. And if you're watching this on Facebook or Instagram, be sure to like and follow us so you can stay up to date with all of our activities because we do post daily and we'd love to hear from you. Well, today I'm gonna to take you through the new X Optima Air, which was a brand new pedal that was introduced at NAMM. It's out now. Uh, we just got them in stock. We're burning through them fast. And I think you're gonna really dig this pedal. So it's two different things. It is an acoustic preamp that's built off of a Neve 1073, so you get that legendary tone. And the other thing it is, is an impulse response loader. So you can load in one of 15 different supplied impulse responses from Legacy Guitars. So you get your Taylors, you get your Gibsons, and of course you get your Martins. And you can put that onto your guitar tone. In addition to that, you can also create your own impulse responses as well. So really the possibilities are limitless. But instead of talking about it, why don't we just get to it? Well, I hope you like our soothing coffee background here since we're talking about an acoustic guitar pedal. In the upper left corner, we have the reverb knob, and this is turned on regardless of whether you turn on the preamp or the IR section. So it gives you a very nice sounding full bodied reverb. <laughs> So you can make it nice and cavernous if you want to. Now, as far as the amp section goes, it's over here on the right-hand side. It's controlled by the individual foot switch, which will turn the preamp on and off. And once you turn it on, you have your gain, you have a bass, a middle, and a treble. So I tried to create as flat of a tone as I could out of my guitar here so that I could use the preamp to really beef up the bass a little bit. Take a little bit of that middle out and then just add a little sparkle on top with some treble. And then can put the reverb back into it if you want to. So you can go from something that sounds like this to this. And that's the preamp section. The left foot switch is dedicated to the impulse response section of the pedal. And this is where you can load up one of those 15 uh, impulse responses and put it onto your guitar tone. And you also can adjust the amplitude by using the IR level knob. Now, the thing to keep in mind here about the impulse response is a couple things. One, that they have been optimized for either electric or acoustic. So yes, you can use an electric guitar with this pedal and use those acoustic tones on your electric. So there's another use you may not have thought of yet. Uh, the other thing you can do, uh, or the other thing to keep in mind, I should say, is that they've been optimized for either magnetic or piezo-based pickups, meaning that if you use a if you're using a guitar with a piezo-based pickup and you use the magnetic IR, it may not sound as good. So you want to make sure you're using the right type of impulse response based on the pickup you are playing. So uh, you want to make sure that you just put apples to apples and oranges to oranges. Okay. So to turn it on, you just simply use the foot switch, and that turns on the IR section um, to remind you of what our original tone was. <laughs> Okay, and now let's pop on a Gibson Hummingbird. So that's just one. Let's move on to a different uh, piezo IR here. Let's go to a J15. Here's where we were. Here's where we are. Let's find another one, a D45. Now this is one of those really nice sought after. I'm a, I'm a Martin nut. Well, I mean, you know, obviously I'm a Martin guy, but uh, still I don't have a D45, but now I do. 
So here's where we were. Here's where we go. Can also add reverb. And there are more to choose from as well. Um, there's Taylor's and there's uh, a, a couple of additional Martins as well for you to work with. So that's just an incredible feature by itself. And keeping in mind about the price point of this, you're getting that preamp and you're getting your uh, impulse response as well. So what happens if we actually combine the two? Finally, if you want to save your work as a preset, there are nine slots available to you. Uh, just use the knob in the upper right corner, the encoder knob here, press that knob. And what you can now do is use, uh, you can go to any of the nine slots available to you. And you want to use the amp foot switch to move the cursor over and then start using the encoder knob to uh, type out your uh, preset name here. So I'll just go TP and as luck would have it, there is the G. All right, so it's saved, and now our preset's ready to go anytime you want to use it. We're also, you can also use the foot switches to toggle up and down the various presets for quick access to any of the presets that are already there or the ones that you create in the future. And that's the new X Optima Air. I hope you enjoyed this video. In future videos, we'll put this up against the StageMan floor so you can do a good A-B comparison between the two preamps. Uh, and we'll also have a look at the editor in a future video tutorial as well, so take care. Well, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions, be sure to visit us at thepedalguide.com. But in the meantime, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly videos and tutorials. Thanks for stopping by here at thepedalguide.com, where I love pedals and so do you.